We just got adaptive triggers on the PC. I'm not even capping. Yo, what is going on guys? It is AJ Bants here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get the adaptive haptic feedback triggers working on the PS5 controller on your PC. Yes, that is right. If you can't already tell, I'm already super, super excited to get into this video because I've been waiting to get the adaptive triggers working on PC literally since the control got out. I got the control on launch day and I was so sad that they weren't working on PC, but finally someone has made some software to get them to work. So let's jump into my PC and I'll show you how to set it up. Okay, we're now over on my PC and I'm going to show you guys exactly what you need to do. It's actually really, really easy to set this up, so let's jump straight into it. So the first thing you want to do is go over here to this website, which I'll leave a link for in the description. And then you want to just click this, DualSenseSupport.test. And before I even start doing this, big shout out to whoever created this software. I don't know if it was this guy here uh, that's showing on screen. If it was, a shout out to him, but whoever it is, massive, massive shout out. So just go ahead, click that, and then that will download it onto your PC. Just click that. Make sure you have got software for unzipping things. We're going to go ahead and unzip that. Okay, cool. So these are all the files that come in it. So the easiest way to do this is just go into your file explorer. I'm going to go to my, uh, my desktop. And you can just create a new folder. I'll just call it haptic feedback. And that is it. And then go back to whatever you use to extract your files and just extract them to that location. So we're going to extract it to my haptic feedback folder that I have just created. Okay, and extract. Boom. Okay, cool. So those are now in my haptic feedback folder that I've just created. And what you want to do is go ahead and click on testing. Just double click on that. You want to open up this window here. Okay, so now you've got this window opened up. Go ahead and plug in your PS5 control. We're going to do that right now. All right, we've got our PS5 controller plugged in. As you can see, it's connected. And sorry, I should have said this before, but you need to have DS4 Windows downloaded for your PS5 controller to even work for games on your PC. If you don't know how to do that, I've also got a video which is about four minutes long. It's really quick and really easy to follow on how to set up your PS5 controller on your PC. I'll leave a link to that in the description, and I'll also be uh, there'll be a card somewhere up here. I'm not sure where it'll be on what side, but there'll be a card somewhere here. So yeah, you guys go and set that up. Download DS4. Um, and then once you've done that, come back here and we'll carry on with this tutorial. So for everyone else that's already got DS4 downloaded and your controller is plugged in, it's really easy. Once you're on this screen, all you want to go ahead and do is set up the triggers. So now if you're playing games like Call of Duty um, and Fortnite, stuff like that, you're going to be using the triggers to shoot. So you're not really going to need to set up the left trigger unless you want to, you can. But today we're going to set up the right trigger. And if you want, you can just copy over those settings to the left trigger um, or work something out that works for you. So for now, we're going to do the right trigger. So go ahead and click on right trigger, click on where it says mode, and then go on to pulse plus extra one plus extra two. You want to bump the first one up to the max, this one up to the max as well. We're going to put this to around three, and then we're going to put this to around six for now. And then if that is all set up correctly, we should be getting haptic feedback on our, on our control. So let's just try that out. And yeah, as you can see, we are. Just like that, it's literally that easy. And now this works on literally every single game. Cool. Now, why does this work on every game? Because basically how it works is the haptic feedback's not running off the game. Like the way the PS5 works is the haptic feedback is set up. It's software on the PS5, especially made for it, obviously. And then it runs off the game. You can turn it off on the game as well if you want. On this, it's running just off the software. So whatever settings you make on the software, it doesn't adapt to the game so you kind of need to adapt it yourself and i'll show you what i mean by that so as you can see right now i've got it set like this there's no game playing on the screen um but this is still going off when you press down on it if you bump this one up a bit more let's say it's around 20 you see the difference it's now moving a lot faster if you can see the vibration on my uh, finger it's moving a lot a lot faster um, so you kind of have to adapt to yourself depending on what guns you're using in games like Call of Duty and uh, Fortnite. But it is super, super useful to have. It's great if you're playing like story mode games um, on your PC. It's just a fun feature to have and it's really good that it works on PC finally. It doesn't work 100% how we wanted it to work, but it does work pretty well. Um, so yeah, I'll definitely go ahead and try it out. And I'm going to jump into a game of um, Cold War so I can show you guys that it really does work. All right, so now you can see we're in a game of Call of Duty and I'll show you what I mean. So this gun, it's got a pretty high fire rate. So you might want to bump this up because if you look at the trigger, it doesn't 100% match the gun. So what you can do, just tab out, go on 
to the uh, software you've just downloaded and you can just bump the speed up, we're going to bump it up to 10 and see if that matches a bit better, we've just gone back into the game and yeah, see that's much better so as you can see it matches the gun and also another thing you need to note is that if we just rinse out the clip like I said, this works just completely off the software, it does not matter what's going on in the game so if you're pressing down this trigger when there's nothing in your gun this trigger, well, it's switched to that gun because there's nothing in it. But this trigger is gonna, well, that's actually a perfect demonstration because look, three round burst gun, this trigger's still gonna go off because it's working just off the software. It doesn't care about what's going on in the game. So just keep that in mind as well. Um, we can switch over to a gun that's a, a bit slower. Okay, so we've switched to the Krig 6 and it's got a bit of a slower rate of fire. So what you can do again is just tab out come back to your adaptive triggers, we can lower it back down to uh, a nice 6 um, and then go back onto the game and now that matches it a little bit better as you can see so yeah it is really that easy I mean I would recommend keeping it around uh, between 6 and 10 you can go high if you want to if you go really really high all you're going to feel is vibration on the triggers you won't actually feel the haptic feedback properly so I recommend don't go too too high but I mean it works, it works for now on PC until we get even better software which I'm sure will be coming soon. Technology is constantly, constantly advancing. But yeah, it's really easy to set up, it's literally that simple. And there you go guys, that is how you can set up adaptive triggers on your PC using the PS5 controller. I really hope you found this video helpful and if you did, then please don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe because I upload daily content just like this and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.